Hello and welcome to Leroy Gaming, where today we are continuing our coverage uh, of doing deep dives on the Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous classes. Now, if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, videos in this series, I go really, really in depth on the descriptors and the features of each uh, the main class as well as each subclass. So do take advantage of timestamps in the description if you want to move around um at the same time i am trying out a slightly mo a slight modification where when i go over the core class i will go over every single feature um that is noted when i go over the subclasses i will i will mention and mouse over features that are duplicates and i may sometimes add some commentary um but to keep things from getting too repetitive I'm not going to read over every single bit of text that gets repeated because in some classes that I've been doing recently, there's just so much repetition that, uh, and it's just so extensive that it can get a little much. Now, if you guys really, really like me doing that, do a comment below and I can go back to it, but it's going to like double the lengths of the videos. Um, and I am trying to do what you guys want here. So basically what that means is if you are, uh, watching one of the subclasses, um, and I mention. Uh, that hey, you know reference the core video you can come back to the uh, the uh, the core uh, Class section you can always go back to that and uh, to get those descriptions if you don't want to read them yourself So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and jump in uh, This is the kineticist at its core uh, the kineticists are living channels for energy matter and energy or elemental sorry elemental matter and energy Manipulating the world around them by drawing up inner res reserves from their own bodies. Uh, kineticists often awaken to their kinetic abilities during a violent or traumatic experience, releasing their power involuntarily. As kinetic power is seldom inherited, kineticists are rarely able to find mentors to guide them, so they must delve into their mysteries on their own uh, to learn to control their gifts. Kineticists generally use their powers to sail they're forced from range, but based on the way their talent develops, they can channel the kinetic abilities for a variety of situations. Kineticists are usually quite different from their, uh, from their families and friends, so they often strike out their uh, own or alongside others with extraordinary talents. Very powerful class. Um, it's going to vary dramatically how it plays depending on the subclasses. To idea. So, uh, let's look at the baseline. They're going to get... Um, Let's start with the weapon and armor proficiency, so they get access to all simple weapons and light armor. No shields, so very basic. Gonna get their main feature is burn. So, at first level, Kineticist can overexert herself to channel more power than normal, pushing past limits of what is safe uh, for her body by accepting burn. Some of her wild talents allow her to accept burn in exchange for greater effect, while others Prior to accept a certain amount of burn to use that talent at all. For each point of burn she accepts, a kineticist takes one point of non-lethal damage per character level. Non-lethal is important because if you were to drop to you know, uh, zero, you know, it's, uh, this, this damage by itself cannot kill you, it can only knock you out. Damage can't be healed by normal means other than getting a full night's rest, which removes all burn and associated non-lethal lethal damage. That's key. Again, you're basically minimizing your maximum health as you utilize this feature. Non-lethal damage from burn can't be reduced or redirected. Kineticists incapable of taking non-lethal damage can't accept burn. The kineticist can accept only one point of burn per round. This limit rises two points of burn at sixth level and one additional point every third level thereafter. Kineticist can't choose to accept burn if it would put her total points of burn higher than 3 plus her constitution modifier, though she can be forced to accept more burn from the source uh, outside her control. Kineticist who has accepted burn never benefits from abilities that allow her to ignore altered effects, uh, basically, uh, of the burn. So, key thing here, unlike just about any other class, constitution is like a primary super important stat baseline to kineticists, which obviously makes her a little more tanky as far as hit points also uh obviously uh fuels this as far as duration and since it gives you more hit points it lets you basically use more burn for burning out uh pun intended um so uh let's take a look at the other elements 
you get kinetic blast at level one uh, as a wild talent over choice kinetic blast must be a simple blast that matches her element as a standard action kineticist can unleash a kinetic blast at a single target in close range she must have at least one hand free to aim the blast all damage from a kinetic blast is treated as magic for the purpose of bypassing damage reduction kinetic blast counts as a type of weapon for the purpose of feats such as weapon focus kineticist is never considered to be wielding or gripping the kinetic blast and can't use vital strike feet with kinetic blasts even the weakest kinetic blast involves a sizable ma mass of elemental mass or energy so kinetic blast always deals full damage to swarm of any size the only area blasts deal extra damage to swarms. This is key because uh, if you played Pathfinder King Maker, before they made some alterations, it was like a battle early in the game where you just owned by these swarms, which are very hard to hit, you know, traditionally, like weapons, etc. You need to use like AoE damage or fire damage, uh, etc. Each simple blast is either a physical blast or an energy blast. Physical blast or range attacks. Deal amount of damage equal to 1d6 plus 1 plus the kinetic institution modifier increased by 1d6 plus 1 for every two kinetic levels beyond first level. And spell resistance doesn't apply against the physical variant. Alright, now let's take a look. At level 1 you also get elemental focus. So at first level kineticist chooses one primary element to which to focus on. This element determines how she accesses the raw power of the ethereal plane. She grants her access to specific uh, wild talents and additional class skills. She gains her selected elements basic utility wild talent, basic aerokinetics, etc. as a bonus wild talent. Um, and then you're going to start at the first level, kineticist gains an infusion wild talent from the list of options available based on her elemental focus. And you're going to get additional infusions at 3, 3rd, 5th, 9th, 11th, 13th, 17th, and 19th level. So lots of infusions as noted here down this, this line. Um, by using infusions along with a kinetic blast, a kinetic cyst can alter her kinetic blast to suit her needs. Infusions come in two types, each of which changes the kinetic blast differently. Substance infusion causes an additional effect, while form infusion causes the kinetic blast to manifest in a different way. Each infusion can alter only certain kinds of kinetic blasts, which are listed in its associated blast and entry. Each time the kineticist uses one of her kinetic blast wild talents, she can apply up to one associate form infusion and up to one associate substance infusion. Some infusions change the action required to activate a kinetic blast or entirely transforms the kinetic blast's normal effect. Burn costs list in each infusion. Um, burn entry is added to the burn cost of the kinetic blast infusion modifiers. DC for a save against the fusion is based on the associate kinetic blast effect spell. Ooh, so that's a mouthful. Basically, you get to alter and modify your kinetic blast, which is the kind of main feature of this uh, class. I'm going to go ahead and see. I'm going to show you guys elemental focus and infusions for level 1 right now before we continue. Kind of give you a taste of what this looks like. So I'm going to quickly just select random race. I'm not going to too crazy. Just randomly assign some stats. And you'll notice dex and constitution really huge for this character. Select randomly to get to the right feature. Random. Right. No background. All right. And here are your elemental focuses. So basically air, earth, so air is going to, uh, uh, air kinetics often control airflow or electricity, especially, they specialize in mobility and range combat. Uh, earth kineticists who focus on element earth are called geokineticists, manipulate earth itself, they are master of defensive techniques. So you'll notice as I select this, this changes uh, element area here. Fire, uh, kineticists who are elements of fire are uh, called pyrokineticists. Wield element of fire as potent weapons and they possess powerful offense and water. Kineticists who focus on elements of water are called hydrokineticists. Hydrokineticists master full of water with a number of chill of cold, uh, numbing chill of cold, and they are known for their versatility of flowing forms like the ever-changing current. 
and then infusions so there are a lot of them here um that unlock as you level up they have different requirements i'm just gonna go over one or two here um if you guys want uh and request it i will go ahead and do a separate video that goes over all of them um but for the sake of length of this video this one i just want to give you an example kind of what it looks like so for example we chose the fire um kineticist so there's some of them that are going to be very focused the fire element obviously here so burning infusion um element of fire substance substance type infusion uh associate blast so you can uh use a blue flame fire magma and plasma uh based on saving uh saving throw is going to be reflex negates so that's important because certain characters are going to enemies are going to have you know certain save modifiers that are real high so this lets you choose like okay there's a will negate this one has no saving throw obviously just it's the range uh, but in this case the connect blast ignites your foes whenever infusion blast hits a foe and penetrates spell resistance the enemy catches fire uh regardless of whether it takes damage and it takes 1d6 points of fire damage each round until the fire is extinguished so that's one example of a modification the other one as mentioned could be uh something like a range extension kinetic blast can strike any target now within 50 feet so again you're going to modify by adding different infusions different kind of sub features or you can make it go longer or you'll get other elements as well okay um and so that is basically the core format now let's go back to the features because again there's a lot of them for this class it's a very complicated class level one as mentioned here are the kinetic blast options uh as described and it's going to progress all the way to level 19 i want to make sure there's nothing missing here um let's see just want to make sure there's nothing else written here, guys and now this is this is the as we described it here. okay um so in this case for example because i chose the fire infusion or element mentions here this is you get the fire blast as the base ability uh you unleash a gout of flickering fire to burn a single foe uh this is your the simplest version of it obviously it's going to modify chose a different element this would change you also get class skill a pyrokineticist adds lore nature to her list of class skills now starting level two you get searing flesh so again this is related to your um choosing the fire element so in this case your body becomes painfully hot whenever a creature hits you with a natural attack or an armor atta unarmed attack which takes one point of fire damage per four kinetic levels you possess when a one point of fire damage creature in a grapple with you takes double damage at the end of each term so this isn't super powerful but it's passive and it kind of can't add up by accepting one point of burn you can increase the damage by one point per four kinetic levels you possess until the next time your burn is removed you can increase the damage in this way up to seven times so you can power this effect up but uh, at a cost um now here as you go you're going to get those additional infusions i mentioned as you level up um when it comes to your actual element starting at level seven you get expanded element seventh level kineticist learns to use another element uh, or expand her understanding of their own element she can choose any element including her primary element she gains one of the elements simple blast wild talents that she does not already possess if any she also gains all composite blast wild talents as prerequisites she meets she doesn't gain the defensive wild talent of the expanded element unless she later selects it with the expanded defense utility wild talent this is basically saying as we just mentioned you get your you pick your element here is the defensive um element of it right here the searing flesh here so it's saying you could hook pick fire and then let's say air not going to get the air defense unless you pick that feature uh as noted and then at level 15 uh the kinesis can either select a new uh you can basically expand if it even further or pick another one so you could technically get up to different elements composite specialization at level 16 kinesis becomes more adept at creating composite blasts she reduces the burn cost of all composite blasts by one can't be reduced below zero so 
there's basically the ones that um it's just gonna basically make it so you get more bang for your buck or for your burn same furthermore uh speaking of wild talents uh starting at level two kinesis can use wild talents magical abilities similar to spells but drawn from the kinesis innate psychic talent usable as well as at will this is key because again they're not they don't they use like mind powers uh so it's like a lot of this stuff is going to seem like oh is this kind of like a wizard or different spells well it's not quite uh it functions a little different because the source of their energy is different um so wild talents are typically spell-like abilities, though some are supernatural abilities, and take a standard action to use un unless otherwise noted. Every wild talent has an effective spell level. Kinesis can always select first level wild talents, but she can select a wild talent of a higher level only if her kinesis level is at least double the wild talent's effective spell level. Kinesis blast and defensive wild talents are always considered to have an effective spell level equal to one half the kinesis class level. Maximum effect is spell level 9th at Kinesis level 18. So they get a, basically, when it comes to very specific blast defensive talents, it gets kind of more normal progression. Uh, and then it's going to be much more limited. A uh, wild talents, basically half that rate um, for everything else. Unless otherwise noted, the DC for saving throws against a wild talent is equal to 10 plus the wild talents effective spell level plus Kinesis constitution modifier. Kineticist uses her constitution modifier on all concentration checks for wild talents. In addition to the wild talents she gains from her other class features, at second level and every two levels after, a kineticist can select a new utility wild talent from the list of options available to her. So this is what this shows. You're going to get a total of 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 as you level up. Now you're going to get metakinetics... Uh, features that unlock as well so at fifth level kineticist gained the ability to alter her kinetic blast as if it were a meta magic feat by accepting burn by accepting one burn uh one point of burn she can empower her kinetic blast as if using empower empowered uh and then as this is accepting uh, explaining then at level nine you're going to get maximized if meta, as in the metamatic feat then you get access to quicken and eventually you become a meta uh, kinetic master at 19th level kinetics kineticist chooses one type of meta kinetics, kinetics and uh, such empowered uh, as such as empowered or quicken so any of these ones listed here she reduces the burn cost of the meta kinetics by one point to a minimum of zero now this is saying uh this explain this in this way because at 13th level uh at ninth level it costs two points to accept maximized and at 13th takes three points to get quicken this would make quicken cost two maximize one uh as an example moving on um we get infusion specialization so at fifth level whenever kinesis uses one or more infusions of the blast she would just combine burn costs by infusion by one and it's going to increase by one as you level up so uh you're going to get that at 8 11 14 17 and 20. so you some people may ask wow you get all these powers you get to stack all these effects but they all add extra burn it's not going to kill you well you also get more efficient with it so eventually um you, can, you know six deduction here and additional deductions in other areas so you can get more powerful while minimizing uh, the negative impact on you as you level up uh you get supercharged so at 11th level when using gather power as a move action a kineticist can reduce the total burn cost single wild talent by two points instead of one when using ga gather power for one full round she can reduce the burn cost of a single wild talent by three instead of two so again sacrificing some time to power up even more uh, elemental overflow at third level kinesis body surges with energy uh, from her chosen element when, whenever she accepts burn in addition she receives a bonus on her attack roll of kinetic blast equal to the total number of points of burn she currently has Maximum bonus of plus one for every three kinetic levels she possesses. She also receives a bonus on damage rolls over a kinetic blast equal to double the bonus on attack rolls. So a very high risk, high reward playstyle as you can see. The more you suffer, the lower your total health is. Uh, from the effects, the more powerful your ability is. 
As Kinetis' body becomes more and more suffered from her element, she begins to gain more powerful benefits. Starting at 6th level, whenever she has 3 points of burn, at least, Kinesis gains plus 2 size bonus to, to physical ability scores of her choice. She can also gain a chance to ignore the effect of critical hits or sneak attacks equal to 5% times her current number of points of burn. 11th level, whenever Kinesis has, a, has at least 5 points of burn, these bonus increase to plus 4 sign, bonus size uh, to a physical ability score or cho uh, choice or, and a plus 2 bonus to each of her other two physical ability scores. So you can get, you know, plus four to con, plus two dex, plus two strength. 16th level, whenever has a, a Kinesis has at least seven points of burn, bonus increase to six size bonus to physical one physical ability and plus four to the other two. Oh, sorry, a plus four bonus to a second uh, ability score and a plus two to the uh, remaining one. So plus six, plus four, and plus two. So again, lots of features. Uh, in a nutshell, using psychic ability, abilities, powering blasts, uh, as you get more powerful, more options, sacrificing more of this burn health to yourself, uh, and also ways to mitigating it, so you just get more and more powerful as you kind of go super sane as you level up. So that is the base class. Let's, let's take a look at the differences of the subclasses, which in some cases will be major overhauls. So we're going to start with the Blood Kineticist. So, to Blood Kineticist, the water uh, in a creature's blood is just like any other, and she uses that knowledge to brutal ends. So, let's look at the similarities. Still going to get the burn feature, as described in the, in the core class, so make sure to check out uh, that part of the video if you want the full read of this full information. You still get basic weapon armor proficiency, so simple weapons, light armor, not shields, but again, this is not a class that focuses on weapons very much. It's... A lot of it is going to be these psychic uh, telekinetic powers. You still get the basic kinetic blast feature, as noted in the core part of the video. But now, um, and also you're going to get, uh, uh, you're going to choose an element. This is the same as the core class. And it looks like you're going to get a second element that you can choose, or you can superpower your primary element at level 15. So again, in the core class, you get a total of three total here you only get two and you still get the composite specialization as of the base class a level 16. now you get rack uh, which is new first level blood kinetics can use her ability to rack a target within 30 feet harming the target by manipulating its blood from the inside target takes half the normal damage of the blood kinetics blast and can attempt a fortitude save to reduce the amount to one fourth normal damage but the damage is untyped and ignores damage reduction, so no way to lower this. This is a first level form infusion that causes zero points of burn and can be used with water and blood blast. So unlike most all other modifications uh, that cost uh, burn, this is, again, you choose to use it, but it's going to be uh, zero cost. You're going to get your wild talents, and this is the same progression as the core kineticist. So again, you should get a total of 10, I believe. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, if you want a full description, make sure you take a look at the core uh, part of this video, first part. Uh, you're going to still get infusions uh, to modify your blast and your abilities, starting at level 3. Then you're going to get you're going to get less of them. So based off this, you're going to get one level 12. You're going to get one at level 17 and then finally one at level 19. Uh, you will get the metakinetic empowerments again, uh, meta, no, metakinesis empowered uh, as an option at level 5, maximized at level 9, quicken at level 13. Again, this is the same as in the core description. Check that out if you want all the details. And metakinetic and master again, the 19. So it's going to lower the burn cost of each of these by one, uh, which is quite helpful. Um, now, here are the other differences. You're going to get Bleeding Infusion at 5th level. A Blood Kineticist can infuse her blast of the vicious power that causes internal or external bleeding. On a failed fortitude save, target takes one point of bleed damage for every die of the blast level, uh, of the blast damage. So. That means like if it's a 3d6, uh, that's three dice, so it'll be three damage. 
The second level substance infusion that costs two points of burn can be used with water and blood magic. So again, notice there's a lot of limitations uh, to this class to specializing for blood, water, magic. Blood Blast at level 7. First time Blood Kineticist selects water with expanded element. Um, she doesn't gain the cold simple blast or the ice composite blast. Instead, she gains the blood composite blast which costs 2 points of burn. Blood Blast is a physical blast that deals bludgeon damage. It's associated with the same infusion as the water blast. <coughs> so that's going to dictate which uh, wild talents could impact that, for example. So this is important to note. Notice the first time it's considered water with an expanded element. Um, so again, I don't know. This is a little odd because based off this graph, you only get one expanded element of 15. So maybe there's one missing here. Um, because based off this, this makes it sound, why would you gather this, get this at level 7? You don't get it to level 15. So that may or may not be part of the error still based on that this is a, a beta build. But just do note that. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, anything else? Oh, we read that. Next we get Gut Wrenching Infusion. Ninth level, Blood Kineticist can infuse her blast ability to manipulate her opponent's insight to the point of impairing her in function. On a failed forward save, target is second for one minute, which is 10 rounds. This is a fourth level substance. Fusion that costs three points of burn and can be used with the water and blood and blast. Get the normal supercharge that basically lowers uh, the, the burn costs. And you get Vampiric Infusion at level 11. Eleventh level, Blood Kinesis can drain the vitality of her enemy's blood to restore her own. If her blast hits or the enemy fails saving throw against the blast without an attack roll, Blood and Kinesis can activate the Kinetic Healer utility while talent without paying the burn cost. Fifth level, Substance Infusion that costs three points of burn and can be used with water and blood blast. Um, and finally, you get Blood Mastery at 20th. 20th level, Blood Kinesis becomes her utter control. Uh, become of her utter control over her own blood, is immune to bleeding, poison, disease, and sickened and nauseated conditions. So, in short, obviously very specialized. You give up some of the variety and flexibility of the kineticist to specialize in modern blood magic. Okay, next. Dark Elementalist. Um, let's see here. Some kineticists who love to suffer the consequences of channeling their power study the darkest esoteric energies of the planes and use souls to infuel their occult might. Spiritual tortures these dark elementals inflict upon the victim's souls are horrifically selfish acts on power of actions of demons. Yeah, so definitely not lawful good is what they're saying. Um, now let's look at similarities. Normal weapon armor proficiencies for kineticist. Normal kinetic blast uh, baseline. Uh, you get Here's a new feature, dark studies. Dark Elemental's base will save bonus from kinetic class is equal to 2 plus 1 higher kinetic level. And her base reflex and fortitude save bonus are equal to a third of her kineticist level. She gains all knowledge and lore skills of the class. So this is basically saying against mind effects, really powerful, but not uh, as uh, diversified in defending against uh, dexterity or constitution based saves basically. So specialize in that way. Um, still get to pick an elemental focus as the base class, a level one. Still uh, get an expanded element level seven. Expanded element at, at uh, fifteen. So this is normal progression to the base class again. If you want to see me talk about this in depth, check out the base class portion of the video. And composite specialization. That's the same as base class. Now, you also get infusions, as described in the base class video, to modify your blasts at uh, level 1, get level 3, 5, then uh, skips to 9, 11, 13. So there's going to be, you're not going to get 10 of them, you're going to get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 infusion it looks like, so you sacrifice some of those. Um, but you're also going to get soul power starting at level 1. Dark Elementalist uses the souls of others to protect herself from dangers of burn. She can't choose to accept burn if doing so would raise her total number of points of burn above 3. However, number of times per day equal to her intelligence modifier. The full round action, she can gather up to souls of dead creatures with, with a HD summon equal or hit die 
summon equal to uh, or higher than her channel character level. When she does, some of her existing burn is unloaded into the departed souls, racking its of unspeakable torment by reducing her current burn total by one point. Dark Elementalist gains attack and damage bonuses from Elemental Overflow based on how many times that day she has successfully used her soul power to rack souls rather than based on her current burn total. For instance, Ninth Level Elementalist who had used soul power three or more times during the course of the day would add plus three bonus on attack roll plus six damage on damage rolls. Dark Elementalist does not gain side bonuses to physical ability scores or chance to ignore critical hits and sneak attack from Elemental Overflow, so modifies that Elemental Overflow. Uh, ability Alter, Burn, and Elemental Overflow are replaced uh, and, and replaces internal buffer. So different way again of modifying her kinetic powers. So that's very, very unique, very, very different. You're still going to get Wild Talents as described in the core class. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So she's going to get all 10 of the Wild Talents. And also, she's going to get access to Spending Burn. Get the Medic Kinetic Empowered uh, feature at 5th. Uh, maximize at 9. Quicken at 13. So this is all the same as the base class. And Medic Kinetic Master is going to lower the cost, burn cost of those features. Normal. And uh, you get Supercharged at level 11. When using gather power as a move action, Kinesis can reduce the total burn cost. Single wild talent by two points instead of one. This is the same as the pro class. And when you use it as a full round, it reduces by three instead of two. So again, very dark focus. And again, the other thing you will notice based off some descriptors, most Kineticists focus on constitution as their primary stat uh, and dexterity. This one again is going to be incentivized to intelligence as well. Next we got Kinetic Knight. Kinetic Knight dons armor and wields a blade of elemental energy. Kinetic Knights are rare in the inner sea region, but not unknown. Many rise the elemental powers while training for battle. So, not necessarily, not going to come under power as far as min-maxing, but thematically, like channeling kinetic energy, psychic energy to make yourself just a, a melee badass, a combat badass, sounds really, really cool. Um, do note, though, that their base attack... Uh, bonus modifier isn't like a martial class so level one you get zero at two you get one but three you get two so this is three quarter bab so it's not as bad as a pure caster which would be half bab uh but not as good as a martial uh you know class that's full bab so you're not gonna get a plus one plus two plus three as you level up so do note that uh a lot of the features here are going to negate some of those weaknesses so you still get the burn feature again check out the the core class part of this video for full details uh you get normal weapon armor proficiencies um so all simple weapons light armor not shields you get your normal kinetic blast as the core class here's some uh, other differences though elemental blade at first level kinetic knight gains the kinetic blade form infusion cause zero points of burn instead of one she can't use her Kinetic Blast without the Kinetic Blade form infusion or an infusion that lists Kinetic Blade as a prerequisite. So again, hyper-focused here uh, on the martial prowess. Your Kinetic Blade, let me read this over. This is the actual thing you auto-choose. In other classes, can't choose this, but it costs one burn. Here it is zero. Right? So notice, even though under the descriptor here it says burn one, it's really zero for this class. You form a weapon using your kinetic abilities. You create a non-reach, light, or one-handed weapon in your main hand, and your hand formed of pure energy or elemental matter. Kinetic blade shape is purely cosmetic and doesn't affect the damage dice, critical threat range, or critical multiplier of the kinetic blade, nor does it grant kinetic blade any weapon special features. You can use this form infusion once as part of an attack action, a charge action, or a full attack action in order to make melee attacks with your kinetic blade since it's part of another action and isn't an action itself using this wild talent doesn't provoke an additional attack of opportunity it deals uh damage uh, deals your kinetic blast damage on each hit applying any modifiers to your kinetic blast damage as assuming this doesn't let me scroll it down uh I'm just, it's just basically related to your element um based off your uh kinetic blast energy type 
Okay. Uh, now, you get Kinetic Warrior, which is another really big element uh, here. So, the Kinetic Knight can use her Constitution score in place of her Intelligence score when qualifying for combat feats. So, a lot of them will say like 13 Intelligence required uh, for specific uh, feats, etc. Here, you can basically dump Intelligence if you need to. Use Constitution instead, which is going to be your main stat, as with all Kineticists. Ability counts as having combat expertise for the purpose of feet per prerequisites. That's big. Uh, Elemental Bastion. So at first level, Kinetic Knight becomes proficient with medium and heavy armor and shields. That's big. Again, no, notice baseline, it's only light armor. But here, uh, you can be like straight up fighter when it comes to this, except for the tower shields. And you get the Kinetic, uh, kinetic Gates, the Elemental Defense ability at fourth level instead of two. And that's associated to the element focus. So. We use the example in the baseline uh, uh, class of fire and uh, the, the fire surge defense. So you get this a little later. Um, uh, now going on to things that are similar to the base kineticist, you get your elemental focus. You get a second one at 7th level and a third one at uh, 15th. Or you could again uh, double dip and get more power over your base element. And composite specialist. So this is all the same as your the base kineticist. Check that part of the video out if you want details. You get your same 10 wild talents, so that you don't lose any versatility there. And you get some limited infusions. You don't get as many, but you get those uh, at 4th level, looks like. Uh, 11th, 13th, uh, 17th, and 19th, as opposed to the listed 3rd, 5th, 9th, 11th, 13th, 17th, 19th. So a little bit less of these. Uh, very, very thematic you want a martial focused kineticist this is the way to go uh now the penultimate um subclass overwhelming soul some kineticists have such a powerful personality that they can seize control of their elements with their minds alone without endangering the bodies so um let's take a look at the similarities and differences so they're going to be proficient uh as normal simple weapons light armor no shields uh normal kinetic blast as uh the core class you get to choose normal elemental focus uh, of your choice. And again, uh, this normal progression, 7th level, expand the element. And an additional expansion at 15th. And composite specialization, 16th. So again, check out the uh, core class part of the video if you want to see full details. You also get infusions. And again here, you get them at 1st level, 3rd, 5th. Uh, so this is normal progression, it looks like. You don't sacrifice any of your infusions. You also get all your wild talents as noted as the core class. So all 10 of them. So, so far, um, very similar. Um, you are going to level 1 get mental prowess. An overwhelming soul mind is strong enough to protect her body. The stress of channeling the elements. However, in exchange, she is unable to push her limits quite as far as other kineticists. She can't choose to accept burn. Huge. Though she can use wild talents with burn cost. If she can reduce that cost to 0 points with the ability such as gather power and infusion specializations. At 6th level, once per day, she can reduce the total burn cost of any wild talent by 1. She can use this ability an additional time per day at 10th level and every 4 levels thereafter. So, this is obviously uh, feeds into a much more conservative playstyle. Um, so, negates some of the risk reward elements on both ends. Mind over matter. Uh, an overwhelming soul uses her charisma modifier instead of her constitution modifier to determine her damage of wild talents. This is huge. As I mentioned, I, I guess I got to correct myself. Uh, normally, I had said all kineticists use constitution as their primary stat. Now, while it's still obviously useful for them, um, she can, uh, unlike the other kineticists that use constitution from, for calculations of wild talents and also health and all everything else, here you can have charisma be a major stat for yourself. Even though your constitution probably should still be pretty high. Uh, the DC of the constitution-based wild talents, the duration of the wild talents, and the constitution-based duration, or bonus of concentration checks for wild talents, and all the constitution-based effects of all of our wild talents, they are all based off charisma. Uh, so, complete transformation there. Uh, you're going to get overwhelming power uh, starting at level 3. Uh, and overwhelming soul gains plus 1 bonus on attack rolls and damage rolls with her kinetic blast. Damage bonus doesn't apply to Kinetic Blade, Kinetic Whip, or other infusions that don't apply to damage bonus from Elemental Overflow. The bonus increases by 1 at 6th level and every level thereafter. So notice, the other 
subclasses, a lot of, in a lot of cases, you're basically, you can kind of power up, but there's always a cost because the overwhelming soul cannot accept burn. This has got a uh, progression that is, uh, doesn't have that negative effect. So, um, so you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, plus six uh, to bonus attack rolls and damage by level 18 without the negative associations but with some limitations as no. Uh, same as the base class, you get access to Medikinetics Empowered uh, at level 5, uh, Maximize at 9, um, Quicken at 13. Uh, now remember, you cannot willingly accept Burn, so you can only use these if you can via features lower to 0. What helps with that at level 19, um, you are going to lower the base cost to 1. Um, so, for example, the, you can get Empower for free, right off the bat. And then, but using some of the other features, you could potentially apply other. You're going to get Mental Prowess at 6. So, at 6 level, once per day, she can reduce the total burn cost of any wild talent by 1. She can use the ability additional time per day at 10th level and every 4 levels thereafter. So, again, another way to lower the burn cost so you can qualify for that 0 requirement. And Supercharge, 11th level. Again, you can uh, when using Gather Power as a move action, um, Kinetics can reduce the total burn cost of a single wild talent by two points instead of one, and if you use it as full action, reduce it by three instead of two. Again, other ways to feed into the class feature where you cannot take on um, burn damage. So very, very different as mentioned. Finally, you got, last but not least, Psycho Kineticist. While most Kineticists channel elemental powers through their bodies, Rare Kineticists channel such power through their mind. Psycho Kineticists uh, lack strong spirit, and so their energy ravages their minds but unleashes powers locked in their ruptured emotions. It's like Profes Professor X, I guess. You just like kill people with your minds. Some Kineticists, sometimes Kineticist, uh, Psycho Kineticist, inadvertently unleashes her power uh, when he, or her power, his power when he experiences an outburst of strong emotion. Potentially making a psycho psychokineticist an outcast or even an accidental killer. <laughs> Slight commentary. I always find it confusing. They change the genders on the descriptors. When it comes to Pathfinder, I don't know why. I think like um, d and they always mention her. It's like feminine. But here, they seem to mix and match his and her. Don't know why. I uh, just found it odd, the inconsistencies. little side commentary there for you guys. All right, uh, weapon armor proficiencies baseline is the same. Simple weapons, light armor, no shields. Kinetic, uh, kinetic blast as the core uh, class feature, no changes. Get your burn element. Uh, I'm just making sure here. Yeah, this is normal as the base class. Uh, important element, obviously. You get to choose your elemental focus at first level. And again, you're going to get expanded elements as, base the, as the core class at 7th and 14th. And get that composite specialization. Lowering the burn costs uh, at 16th. No changes so far. You also get your infusions that impact your blast, etc. Um, normal progression. So no changes here. You're not sacrificing any of this. Next, um, you're gonna get a level one also emotional intensity. Big change. Psychokineticist uses wisdom modifier instead of constitution. So previously overwhelming soul instead of constitution uses charisma. They use Wisdom to de determine damage of Wild Talents, DCs of Constitution-based Talents, Duration of Wild Talents, Constitution-based Durations, Bonus on Concentration Checks for Wild Talents, and other con Constitution-based Effects on all of the Wild Talents. So again, while you may still pump Constitution, this allows you to really pump Wisdom quite a bit, and you will need to. Uh, mind Burn. Psychokineticist Mind Strains when he overtaxes himself. Takes minus two penalty on will saves, wisdom checks, wisdom based skills checks. Each point of burn he has accepted rather than taking non lethal damage from burn. So, again, your max health doesn't drop, but you just get really susceptible to mind altering effects uh, the more you dip into your psychic powers. You can accept the amount of burn equal to his wisdom modifier rather than plus three plus his wisdom modifier. Otherwise, his burn works. Just like a normal kineticist. Uh, this alters burn, obviously. So, interesting. Very different penalty. 
more more extreme limitations on how much you can use which kind of makes sense you know you, your body can a lot of times take more here you would go kind of for cocoa puffs it take too much mind burn so there's a limited scaling uh rather three less baseline um you still get the metakinesis and power maximized and quicken uh at the fifth ninth and thirteenth level respectively and metakinetic master at level 19 no changes there and you also no change here for supercharge um as noted previously so again if you want to be wisdom based you want a slightly different twist you want to kind of role play professor x uh this is the way to go so that guys is the kineticist i hope you found this guide helpful uh again uh as noted before if you have a request what class you want me to go next for comment below uh, I have in the past altered my order. So, for example, I already went over Rogue, even though normally it wouldn't have come up for probably about 10 more videos. Um, so, I will do that uh, if I get specific requests. Hope you guys are loving it. Again, you want to support my video, help with the algorithm. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Be up to date on these series of videos and my other videos that are still coming for other games. Uh, again, Leroy with Leroy Gaming, and I will see you guys next time.